Welcome to Agape Home Academia. I am Teacher JP, and today we'll talk about something that's very important. It's all around us. Yes, we'll talk about matter. Join me so you can create that aha moment. Matter is everywhere. You can find matter all around you. In fact, you are matter. I am matter. The food that you eat, that's matter. The clothes that you wear, yep, that's matter. But if everything around us is matter, what exactly is it? Hmm. Aha! Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. But what exactly does it mean? Come on, let's take a closer look. Based on our definition, matter has two basic properties. First, matter should occupy space. Second, matter should have mass. When these two properties are satisfied, that object can be considered matter. <clears throat> Volume is the amount of space an object uses. For example, when you pour water into a glass container, that water fills up and takes up the space inside the glass. All matter is made up of something. For example, this ball is made of rubber. This marker is made of plastic. You see, mass is the amount of material found in an object. The more material it has means it has more mass. And likewise, if there is little material, there is less mass. It's important to understand that all matter should be made up of something. Even the smallest ones have mass. Let's review. Matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Very good. Now, volume. Volume is the amount of space an object uses or occupies. Good job. Now, mass. Mass is the amount of material found in an object. Great. Remember, matter is found everywhere. Now, here's the challenge. Can you name anything that is not matter? Write your answers in the comments below. Oh, by the way, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another aha moment. This is Teacher JP from Agape Home Academia saying thank you very much for joining me in this learning experience. See you again next time.